guys welcome back to my channel today's video is our apartment tour we live in a one bedroom downtown san diego in east village and i'm so excited to finally share our furnished apartment tour with you so we're going to start at the front door this is our entryway area this is right when you walk in the front door mind you this is a really small apartment so we got to work with what we got i'm going to link everything below too if you guys have any questions just leave them in the comments right when you walk into your right we have this little shelf i brought this with me from georgia i think this is from like my childhood bedroom when i was like a baby so i went ahead and decorated it with some random things this is, i got this from the thrift store this little dish um i put some shells in it because you know we live in san diego um some books that i thrifted some candles these are this little plant faux plant is from fungus or marshalls or something like that and then this little like bust I actually made this myself. I like 3D printed it and designed it. So my little bookshelf down here. I definitely want to expand on the bookshelf when we move because I want to get more physical books. Right now I'm a Kindle girl and I want to like build out a whole like library. And then we use the bottom space for extra shoes. When you first walk in the door, you're going to see this little console rack. And this is where we keep all of our shoes. When like the everyday shoes, flip flops, uh, sneakers, like all of that kind of stuff and we were going to hang some stuff up here when you're renting you don't really want to like fill in the holes when you leave so we just kind of didn't bother and so um you'll see throughout the house like a lot of frames and pictures and stuff are leaned up against stuff i kind of like that undone look anyway so i actually thrifted these from salvation army and then i also put my purses here we have our keys and sean's gym stuff and all of that stuff so that's our entryway let's move into the bathroom which is on your left when you first walk in we have a pretty big bathroom for just the two of us for a one bedroom i honestly wish that the, ba the bathroom was just a little bit smaller so that our bedroom could be bigger or our closet could be bigger, but it's fine. This is a really decent size. All of the stuff that I got to decorate, this is from Target. Uh, this is also from Target. I have like a candle in here. We figured out pretty quickly that there isn't a lot of storage in this apartment. We had to figure it out ourselves and like buy shelves and all that kind of storage solution stuff. Pick this one up and it has all of my makeup and our towels and everything in it. It's kind of messy. All of our stuff down here is just a mess. Like, okay, mostly my stuff is a mess, but I have like so much stuff, you guys. Like, it's just like, look at my- Fourths of this- Let's not talk about it. Three-fourths of this stuff is hers. Okay, okay, all right, <laughs> whatever. Having like storage solutions is in space is a huge thing for us. And you'll see as we go through the apartment, like it, it, it's become an issue. We do have a medicine cabinet, which has a lot of space. Now turning you around, we have like racks that we actually just stuck up here. These are the, what are those things called? The command, uh, strip command strips, yeah. Our shower curtain is also from Target. Target. I think it's like Hearth and Home is the brand. We do have like marble tiles, which is really nice. I love that. And then, okay, like, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. Anyways, we got these from Amazon and they stick with this like clear strip. Yeah, and it's like an adhesive. They literally don't move. It's yeah. awesome. And then we have our hamper right here. Just from Target. This is from Target too. Yeah, it's from Target. It fits about it's nine pairs. All right, now let's go into the main room, which is our dining room slash kitchen. <laughs> So it's a pretty big space. It feels very open. We did get south facing, so there's a lot of light coming in. The place we're in right now it is the kitchen, obviously. We have all the brand new appliances, like all new finishes and everything, which is really nice when we first moved in. No one had ever been in here and used this. It's all brand new. So that was really awesome for us because we were like, we don't want to have to deal with other people's 
nastiness. We don't have a pantry. So we kind of like keep all of our stuff in the cabinets. I have my coffee stuff over here, food and stuff back here. And then we have like seasonings and all that here. here. All of these are soft clothes, by the way, which is really nice. Plates, bowls, vases, um, meal prep, containers. And then I have, we never open this up by the way, because we don't really drink ever, but um, I do have like my glassware. This is my vintage glassware that I love and adore. And then we have our wine glasses. And then I have like these special plates. My mom got me these from Anthropology for Christmas and they're like different cities and they're so cute. It's just really small in here. Yeah, I think it's, we've outgrown it. That's really oh. the biggest thing. Yeah, true. I also want to show you guys our like appliances like on top. So this is my pride and joy right here. This is my espresso machine. This is from Amazon. My mom bought this for me for Christmas. And then last Christmas she bought me this one. My mom's a coffee lover too, so she knows. This is a Keurig K Cafe. And then we have our air fryer, which is Sean's pride and joy. Yeah. Every <laughs> my mom day. also got me this for what, my birthday or Christmas? And I have this um, stainless steel toaster. It's on sale at Target. And then I also have a blender. Got this from Amazon. It's the Oster blender. I don't love it. Then I have this like a diffuser. You take the stone and you put the dross on top of it and it blows it out from canopy. And then I have like this vase that I just put our wood utensils in. And then we have our knife thing from Amazon. It's Amazon, yeah. And this is a little basket from probably Target. Home Goods. I think, I think it's, it's Home Goods because it has this on it. And I had to hide that because I liked the basket. I just hated this Ray and Dunn thing. It's so shooty. So I put that up against the wall. So that's where we keep our produce. And then I have some mint here and just like a mason jar. Our paper towels, the dispenser is from Target, I believe. This little thing for the soap is actually, I found this in the ocean. We were in Coronado on the beach and I saw it in the water and when I picked it up, it was black and I brought it home and it dried off and after like two days, it turned into this color. So I thought it was perfect for like a little thing for the, our soap and our sponge. A uh, wood cutting board is from Home Goods. And then this is also from Home Goods. I thought this was such a good find. And before I had olive branches in it, but they died, so I took them out. But yeah, I thought it was like really cute with the olive branches coming out here. And I also have the Pura for Obviously we want our place to smell good. This runner in here, it's from Amazon. Hand towels are from Target as well, first in hand. Our island. So when we first got in here, we didn't think that there was enough room for an island. It was really small in here, but then we were like, okay, wait, we functionally, we need to have an island. And now that it's in here, we freaking love it. The actual island itself is from Ashley Furniture. And then these chairs, are from Target and they match perfectly. I love the black. I feel like the contrast is so beautiful in this space and it just works. So um, the only thing about the black is that it just shows everything. Like it shows every piece of dust ever. I got this little tray from Home Goods. Coasters are from Crate and Barrel. Yeah. I knew it was something barrel. Crate and Barrel and then this candle is from Anthropology. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember where this candle is from. Sorry, guys. And the flowers are from Sean. Hey, Sean. Shout out Trader Joe's. And the shaker bottle, Peak Man. You know you love the man when you see these around. So there is a closet right here. This is our full size washer and dryer. We love having a washer and dryer, full size washer and dryer. Like, that was a non negotiable. Yeah, I was gonna for say, us. yeah. I we can't live in a place that doesn't yeah. have a washer and dryer. Our trash can is from Target as well. So next thing that we got for storage solutions, specifically for me, I needed a clothing rack and I used to have like a basic clothing rack. It just didn't do the job. I needed something that was functional and cute as well. So I got this from Amazon. It's just a clothing rack that also doubles as a shelf. The decor that I have on these shelves, this one is from, it's thrifted actually, 
which I thought was an amazing find. It's like this bust of David. And then I also DIY'd this base with plaster. And this is like a faux succulent that my mom got me from, I think, World Market that I have in here. And then I thrifted these books. And then down here, I thrifted this frame and I printed out this little print of Sean and I. I actually wanted to change this out and have it with a mat inside. Let's move into the living room, which is my favorite area. much. I feel like it just is a bit of us. Ugh, I can't get enough of it. I love it with the fresh flowers. It's just, it's so good. So let's start with the mirror. So this is from, I think I got this on OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace. I really wanted a very tall mirror and it fit perfectly in this space. I obviously needed something to take pictures in of my outfits and stuff for work, but I also wanted something like to, that opens up the space and a mirror really helps like open it up and make it this place look way bigger than and it brighter. is. And brighter. And brighter, because yeah. it reflects the light. Let's come to the couch. This is the star of the show. So we have our couch. This is from Living Spaces. It's the Adeline, Adeline 2, the like sectional size. And it's the left facing sectional, is that what it's called? Yeah. So beautiful, it's deep. Like, I literally can just like lay back and just, I don't know, I could like sleep like this. It's just so comfortable. It's like a cloud. We actually like this one had legs and it was off the ground a little bit. It kind of give, gives a little bit more mid-century modern vibes, which you'll see when we turn around that that's kind of what we're going for. Also, the rug is from, it's from rugs.com. It's only $50 and it's such a good neutral rug that is a little bit like vintage looking. It's neutral and I love it so much and I got it for $50 dollars which is amazing if you are shopping for rugs you know that they're like really expensive my favorite piece in our apartment this is a vintage travertine coffee table i am so obsessed with this thing and guess what you guys I got it for free. I got it for free. Oh my God. I like still can't believe that I got this shit for free. Got this on offer up. I wanted this specific one. I feel like I manifested this into my life. I was just randomly scrolling and it popped up. I snatched it within like the first five minutes of it being up. I made Sean jump in the car with me. We drove over there down to like this random grandma's house and they just had it sitting outside and we just picked it up and grabbed it and he was just like okay cool it's free fifteen hundred dollar i still cannot table. believe it like it's I me mean, like, it has a, like a, a few like little scratches it's a little dirty too, from but wares I'm not gonna, i don't really care like i love it so yeah. much it's travertine and glass and it's just my favorite thing ever. it's really the everyone like always comes in here and like this is like the first thing they like compliment. They're like, oh my God, the yes. table. The flowers, well the flowers are from Trader Joe's, but the flower base, this is from a local flower shop in San Diego. And then this faux plant is from Home Goods Marshalls, TJ Maxx. You can find them at any place. I actually thrifted these two books and they match. Like, I don't know how this worked out, but I actually bought this one before I moved in. I saw it at the swap meet in San Diego. This has like, art throughout it would favorite this one is thrifted i think i got this at yeah oh, it's like fun. salvation army and it has it's huge and it has like big paintings from monet which is he's one of my favorites and i got two of my favorite artists and the covers match it just like worked out perfectly and i love this pop of blue like i just thought that the pop of color really added to the space. It was one of the first pieces that I bought for the apartment just because I thought it was so beautiful. It was a mid-century vibe that we were going for in this apartment. This snake plant I bought on Facebook Marketplace and then this I also got from Home Goods. And all of our artwork is and the frames are from Decenio. And then I have this little uh, candle set up where I actually like melted the candles onto this little tray. The tray and the candles are from Ikea. This is the Alexa. Alexa, shut up. This little faux plant, which is from Home Goods, probably. I don't know. It's like, I get all my, mm. like, I get all my faux plants from <laughs> Home Goods. Um, okay, and then we have this little basket over here for all of our blankets and stuff. This is from Target. We have this cute little olive tree that we bought from Amazon. It's a six-footer. This a pot down here from 
home goods. So the other thing in the living room is our lamp over here. So that is from Bright Tech. And I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm gonna show you where our need. storage is. This is our storage. This is our Poshmark, Poshmark. section. It's if just, we had another room, this would all be in the yeah, other room. Yeah, it would be put away and it would be presentable in there. But go ahead, Sean, you can show them. Our basically equivalent of a drug drawer. Drug yeah. Room. It's a. It's, it's crazy. So I think I'm gonna take you guys out on the balcony before we go to the its bedroom. bedroom. Ooh, it's kinda hot out here today, it's like humid. I got this little table and chair set out here from Ikea. Really dirty out here because there's construction next door so we don't really ever come out here anymore just because it's like insanely dirty. The Coronado Bridge out here, you can kinda see the water. And this is our view. Also the rug is from Marshall. No free feet. Sorry. It's from Marshalls. All right, last but not least is our bedroom. It's a pretty small space. I mean, we don't ever like come in here except to sleep, so it's it's fine. It's I don't fine. even think we watch TV in here, no, really. No, we don't. We, we like really spend all of our time out in the living room. But this is our bedroom, and yeah, I love it so much. So our bed and the bed frame are from Amazon. Well, actually, everything is from Amazon. The bed, the mattress, the bedding, throw right here, um, everything except for the actual pillows themselves. The pillows are from Sam's Club. I actually DIY'd these art pieces. They're made from like plaster. I have like linen bedding. We love the linen. I feel like it's like lightweight and breathable and yeah, we just love it. We have this little orange situation over here. Mirror that I got from the Marshalls Fine. This mirror like tray for my perfumes is from Amazon. I have my whole perfume collection, extra perfume collection, and then this is from either Target or Walmart, and then we just have like bins with extra stuff in it. Sunglasses in it, I got this from Amazon. Antique oak stool, this is from Olive Atelier in LA. They have a lot of antique stuff. It was a little bit expensive, but it is antique. And then I actually DIY this vase down here. This is uh, another plaster kind of DIY and then I have this like faux eucalyptus plant that I put in our closet. It's mirrored and I'm gonna show you kind of what's in there but it's, it's just a hot mess. Like we are literally out of space. We're overflowing in here so I kind of organized it like jeans and stuff, all of my like sweatshirts, um, bikinis, that's all in another video. All of Sean's shoes are up here, and then this yeah. is my side of the closet. And then on this side is where it gets crazy. All my shoes, it's chaotic. Like, I didn't even bother to clean it. All my purses, Sean's shoes. But we've, like, we've outgrown, outgrown it space. to the max. So if you turn around, we have our dresser over here. I got this little tray from the dollar section in Target. And I have my favorite perfumes displayed on here. And then I got this for Christmas. This is a jewelry organizer that I got from Amazon. This also like closes up if you don't want it to be like displayed it can close up into a box. The dresser is also from Ikea. Home goods find. It's a little candle. This is from Amazon that displays all of my jewelry and then I also have this YSL beauty box that I got in a PR package and I put all of my statement jewelry in here so um and yeah, I think that might be it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching our apartment tour. I love this apartment and I really wanted to share this with you. I'm gonna link everything below and I'm also gonna link our actual apartment down below too because we are moving. So I am just really happy with how we decorated our space. I feel like it's just like light and bright, homey, but also like zen. I'm really happy with how our apartment turned out. So that is our furnished apartment tour. Thank you guys so much for watching and following along on the San Diego journey. I'm so excited for our next journey in a new state and I just can't wait to share all of those home things with you. But thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.